Hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Sea. Again, I was in the middle of, you know, grinding, just doing a little bit of a trade run. And then all of a sudden, this happens. We have a traitor aboard. The determined doctor makes no plea, no apology, no excuse. He holds his hands out for the irons and is escorted to the brig with his head held high. You know, you think you know somebody. You know, you sort of breathe life into this depressed person, you know, this person who had nothing to live for. You take him on your ship. You assume he's going to, you know, work for you. You assume he's going to not steal from you. You assume he's just not going to cause immense amounts of problems for you. But then you're wrong. And this happens. The determined doctor stands as the door opens, irons clinking on his wrists. His eye is defiant. The cold sweat on his brow tells a different story. We demand an explanation. The question is a single word. Why? Why have you betrayed me? Why did you steal all that information? What did you do and why did you do it? An impersonal betrayal. Why would a man throw a life preserver to a drowning child? The determined doctor looks up, revolutionary fervor in his eye. You were not there, citizen, or you would know. Our only salvation is in anarchy, in burning London, bringing down the Connie, in sealing the Humane Canal, taking back what is ours. They understand that. In the shadow, they understand. The Haunted Doctor is different. We're going to argue with this determined doctor. Good grief, has this man ever found a cause he didn't immediately embrace? It's a question worth asking. For a moment, it's as if you've gotten through to him. But no, a man who would fall so quickly from worshipping sorrow spiders into the crooked clutches of the Calendar Council and still be instantly won over by a bunch of Kaganian anarchs is a man with an impenetrable shield of homilies and self-justification. I did what I must, says the doctor, his solitary eye staring past your ear. I could have done no less. Hmm. I think this is a terrible idea, but I'm going to go for it, I think. Mostly because I don't have another ship's doctor. Try to deal with the determined doctor. He only did what he thought was right. If he swears never to repeat this, his honor will hold him to it. So help me God if you mess this up for me. A principled stand. Please understand there was no pleasure or satisfaction in what I did. It was only with the bitterest regret and for the greatest good that I betrayed your trust. But I cannot swear that, citizen. I must continue to act as my conscience demands. As much you with yours. I'll speak no false promises to spare my neck. Well, passing judgment then. A verdict is reached. The determined doctor does his best to look defiant, but is unable to hide his nervous trembling. Hmm. The doctor returns to work. Under guard, of course. He is, fortunately or not, too good a surgeon to simply discard. Does not seem much of a punishment. Still, the doctor's face sinks into gloom. Was he hoping to be a martyr for his latest cause? Is he simply sick that he will be unable to help his anarch friends? Matters not. The irons around his wrists are removed. He is free to resume his duties, at least for the moment. I just... You know what? What can we actually do with him? Is there any other thing I can do with this guy? Check on him. He's not caused any more trouble, but remains a cause for concern. A man distracted. The guard reports that the doctor has barely spoken since returning to work. He certainly has not smiled. He goes through the motions solely in the hope of being left alone, away from the scorn and suspicion of the crew. His patients leave mended, more or less, for their sutures are poorly stitched, their medications miscounted, and their bones carelessly set. The crew grumbles a word must be had. Hmm. Oh, ways to fix him, essentially. A long talk for London. His problem is that he keeps choosing unworthy causes. Perhaps he can be pushed to a worthy one for once. Inner emptiness, which requires, oh my god, a lot of pages. Or a lot of hearts. Uh, of the three options, this one for London probably is the most possible. It's going to take some doing to fix him, though. 
Oh dear, and besides that, we have other things we had planned to do, but then that sort of thing happened, and you know, I can't resist. I can't not show you guys that. Also, just, you know, that moment of betrayal, that just stab in your gut, realizing that you had a crew member here who cost you so much in terms of resources, it's kind of a nightmare. It's kind of nightmarish. Very much so at the moment, actually. But, you know what? It's fine. I still have that coffee from, you know, last episode. I barely made any progress. I just got to hell, and then briefly made a stop over at, uh, the, not Command Canal, the, um, Port Carnelian. Reason being, let's unpause there, reason being that I did not realize, or didn't remember, really, that... In order to make this Fulgen Impeller, I need more things. I need one casket of sapphires, which I just purchased, and 40 units of Stygian Ivory, which would cost me 1,040 Echoes. So, that's going to be a bit of a problem for me. I don't have that much. Not nearly that much. I will, though, in due time. But that's also going to require me to, you know, get more money. And succeed at this trade run so that, you know, I can live. Ah, dearie me. Make a few quick trips, you know, Visage, Khan's Shadow, and then actually probably just directly to Irem, I would think. Well, no, we can go... I, in theory, I could go to Savior's Rocks. I'm not going to. Could do that. Uh, we'll go to Polythreme, maybe Empire of Hands, maybe Godfall, don't know. Who knows? But yes, then after Iron, we'll be going back to London. And all will be well. Or well-ish. Well for certain values of well. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. We won't even bother with that little rat barge. It's all fine. Also, lights off. Sorry, guys. Do kind of need the lights off. You know what? Actually, we might just make a direct trip to Iron because our fuel situation could be better. Yeah. Yeah. Visage, how you doing? Give me a poor report. Thank you. Not going to be there, though, because, you know. You know. I've got other places to be. Sorry, guys. Don't get me wrong. Love your architecture and all, but... At the same time, you know, I've got places I need to be, and those places are not here. Alright. Let's go to Khan's Shadow. Just just eyes on deck, guys. Don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry your little heads. It's all fine. It's all just perfect relatively fine. Moderately okay. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. Yeah. We should be fine. We can make it to Irem, get our stuff there, and then, in the worst case, we can convert some of these supplies to fuel. Why would you ever... Yeah, I don't know why you would trade an Element of Dawn for just a doomed monster hunter. I don't see the benefit. I do see the benefit of the Stygian Ivory, but, I mean, that's uh, not something I can afford. Although, hold on. I need some for the... not the mechanic, the uh, adventurer. So... Why not? Um, you know what the heck, I'm going to be buying more of this anyway. Might as well buy it now. Although you could argue, and would be correct in arguing, that I should have saved some money or spent it on fuel. Ah, right. The whole need to live thing. Ah, oh, well, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's go to Polythreme, then go on to Irem. I think that'll have to be it for now. For now. 
the reason we're going to Polyfilm, of course, is because we do get some money out of just delivering those little clay men. Not much, mind you, but some. And we need every penny we can get our hands on. Realistically, we only need actually 1,040, if I remember right. Because it's about 26 echoes down in the Shellinate. Yeah. Yeah. We should be fine. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Should be okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have plans. We have an idea of what we are doing. Not a good idea, but, you know, an idea. Uh, yeah. We hear those voices that will not be drowned. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you for that, you know, lovely, 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 lovely bit of text. Hi, what news? Apparently it's terif terrifying news. Great. Yeah, Clayman, you're for London. Yeah, I get it. Don't worry. I get it. I know your story. I've heard the story a dozen times before. We are for London. Okay. Good for you. Hmm. You know, I wonder. I'm actually very tempted to figure out exactly how much that doctor cost me with his constant betrayals. It's actually quite... Oh, man. So much vital intelligence I probably could have had if it hadn't been for him. Man, fuck that guy. We're apparently going to be going to the Empire of Hands. Well, I mean... No. We could, but we won't. This is not the Empire of Hands. The Empire of Hands is further to the right. We're just going to go to Irem. We're going to finally, finally, get this trade run going. And I don't think I've decided on a trade route, by the way. So, starts at London, where we don't really pick up anything, because we're going to go straight to the Cuman Canal, get as much supplies as we can, get some fuel from the Iron Republic. I'm probably going to go for 30 fuel in the future. Take all that up to Abbey Rock, sell a decent amount of the supplies, maybe leave me with 20 of them. Then we go to Khan's Heart, buy as much coffee as I can, then to Irem for the Parabola Linen, then to London to sell the Parabola Linen. I think that is the most profitable route I can do. At least as far as I know. Of course, with my luck, the Abbey would burn down as well, just because, you know, why wouldn't it? Ah, oh dear. But yeah, I'm making 15 echoes on each supply I sell to the Abbey. I'm not making anything buying, you know, coffee. But, if I remember right, if I get Parabola Linen, I can sell that for 60. So I'm making 20 echoes on the Parabola Linen. Yeah. And buying coffee at the uh, Connate's 40 echoes, yeah. I think these numbers are right. I might be wrong about it, but I'm pretty sure I can actually, you know, survive off of this. Potentially. Maybe. I don't know. But we're going to find out. We're going to find out real quick. Hi. How you doing? Hi. So, I will take a... Ooh, hello. I can always sacrifice a lamentable relic, but I mean, I need the House of the Amber Sky thing. Yeah, let's let's do that now. Hello. Um. Okay, so a few things. Uh, in fact, quite a few things here. Uh, we could seek the glory's story. A hunter will wait beyond. Oh. 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 Oh, more things for me to do. Okay, let's take care of this now. Beneath the skin of dreams, behind the faces of mirrors, an orange sun sails in a fervid sky. Here are the borderlands of that place, close by Irem, and closest still to the house of the amber sky. And here you are, in another place. The sun is warm on your uncovered head. Seek the glory's story. A hunter will wait beside a fallen stone with a splintered spear. He will beckon you. There's a place, he will say, where I sent my enemies. What you want is there. Be ready to join it. There's the path. Above the path, the sky cools to the cracked orange of old lava. 
Mock when memoirs glory's bone is yeah, Scrimshaw Chronicler has asked me to seek the tale. And something about another day where the wood was no more than zero. The was wood. A blackened cliff falls away at your feet. In the glen below, a white wood of leafless trees awaits you. This is the was wood. All things within are gone forever, and all things that are gone forever lie within. Oh. This is a terrible choice right here. In this place, the dead might be guides. The Council of the Dead will give you wounds, but it will bring you closer to your quest's end. Uh, yeah. Okay. No. Although, perhaps. But first, you walked within the Wuzzwood. All things within are gone forever, and all things that are gone forever lie within. When you walked its paths, you knew you might join them. Oh, pity. Got a wound on me. But I mean, if I can get to seven, I'll find what I seek. Interesting. Anyway, the story. Dust. The ground was dry as chalk, but no dust puffed from your footsteps. It lay thick on the earth, on the ruins, on the bark of trees, on the bones. But it clung like lichen. You crushed the bones beneath your feet, impossibly. You followed that trail of crushed bones into the heart of the wood. Once known, that path was not easily forgotten. Interesting. Was that a success or a failure? I'm not entirely sure. Oh. Rare fruit. Here in the mirror marches, those who are wounded can sometimes find solace, or so the Zdori has it. Oh. Oh, solace fruit. Never mind. A dying tree. Solace fruit are parasites. Delicious, poisonous parasites. These solace fruit made their home on a mahogany tree, from which they have assiduously sucked the life. The tree is a cracked remnant. The solace fruit bloom like dew. That kicked me out. You little sons of bitches. I was going to go after the rarest fruit after that, but okay, fine. Fine. It's okay. It's fine. Whatever. It's fine. I'll just sell all my coffee. See how you like that. I bet you're fine with it. Because you like coffee here. Excuse me, what? Is this about the threshold? Oh, my no. I'm not selling my Element of Dawn for anything, in fact. Although this does allow me to convert things into other things. Hmm. I know, that's very well thought. Great. Good job, brain. But yes. In theory, I could sell this to make Z stories. Or not. Huh. Huh. You know what? Not gonna worry about it. So I'm gonna keep selling this sacks of dark, bleh, dark drop coffee. And then I'm gonna go on to London. But you know, the trip to London isn't gonna be a very interesting one. So perhaps I just, you know, Go there on my own, although... Eh, our fuel situation could be better. You know what? Just in case, I'm going to bring you guys along. Because, you know... Six barrels of fuel to get that far, and, uh... Ooh, our terror situation growing. You guys are my good luck charm. I die when I don't have you guys around. Actually, have I ever died without you guys around? I've only died with you guys around. What are you guys... You guys are a curse. I just realized that. You're like that doctor. A plague upon this ship and me. I'm blaming you. It also could be due to the fact that, you know. Oh, lovely, lovely. I've got theme music now. Great. Good job, Sunless Sea. You're doing it. You're freaking doing it. Well, 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 yep, glad this is happening, can make a quick stop at Godfall, 
grab a port report because why not? And our terror is going to just keep on rising, isn't it? Shouting. Report. Great. So, could you please stop turning the lights on, for God's sake? really isn't any good place to get more fuel. Supplies, sure. I mean, supplies you can get elsewhere, but fuel uh, feels a little bit rarer. Hmm. Yeah, just a direct course to London? That seems like an idea. Although perhaps a stop at Shepherd's Wash. Yes, Shepherd's Wash wouldn't be a bad idea. Perhaps. Perhaps. No. Want both of you guys to just stay low for me. Come on. Okay, maybe turn the lights on. Is that going to do enough for us? It will. I mean, we could get more supplies this way. I could get a hunting trophy this way. It might be technically worth it. Turn off that. There we go. That does some damage. Yeah, you're going to do some damage, but I can do damage right back to you. And unlike you, I'm actually good at this. Then one of these. Okay. Bound shark. Give me supplies so that I can make them into fuel. Okay, is it just not giving me the hunting trophies anymore? Because I'm not see Oh, there it is. I should have multiple hunting trophies, and I don't seem to have them anymore, and I'm very concerned about that, but you know what? It's fine. It's okay. Okay. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. Eventually, we'll make it back to somewhere. I mean, you know, just by sheer chance, as long as I don't keep the lights on and destroy our fuel situation. Yeah, yeah. Fungal pads, prison, etc., etc. Don't care. Not going that way anymore, because I got nothing I need that way. So, I'm going this way, because it's the way to the home. And hopefully something that can help us deal with terror. In theory, maybe, I don't know. Yep, there we go. More music, great, lovely, love it, love it. It's just great. It's always great. Terror situation is probably what's going to get us before the fuel situation does. Dock. Uh, standing zones. You gained terror, you lovely people. Okay, um, I could sell two supplies, get one fuel. Great. Great, this is perfect. This is what I wanted. This is exactly what I needed. All right, Abbey Rock, I can, I can deal with some of our terror situation, but I mean, that's expensive as hell. I think I'd be better off just putting the lights on for a bit. Mind you, I'm not sure that's the case, but... Yeah, search the supplies real quick. Yeah, yeah. This is a good plan with no negative repercussions whatsoever. Uh, 
And, okay, okay. Good. So I'm gonna turn the lights off for now. Terror's gonna increase eventually. We're gonna get back to here, where terror will start to decrease in theory, maybe, hopefully. Get, turn the lights on briefly, ever so briefly. Yeah, just, uh, nah, Spend time in bed. Yeah, lost a supply, but got rid of a wound as well. So that's good. Okay, okay, okay. Demos Island, we are almost there. Zayla runs to the rail, stripping off his clothes as he goes, beaming rapturously. Home, he cries, home. Yeah, I don't have the fuel to do that. He swims south towards the Elder Continent. His head is visible in the faint light of the false stars, silhouetted as he bobs above a wave. Then he's gone. Well, great. Great, this is, this is what I wanted. You know, for my crew. Search for anything of use, again. Okay. Think we got this. Think we got this. Probably. And eventually docking. T with the factor. Yay, lost some. <sighs> yep, lost some terror. Not much, mind you. Barely any, in fact. But it is sufficient. Lights out. Because I don't have enough to... I can maybe make it home. I have enough terror, I can make that last. The fuel situation I'm worried about. Do I have recent news still? I might. Let's see if I do, and we'll dock at the light boat. This is cutting it way too close for my tastes. 85 terror. It's fine. It's terrible, but it's fine. Almost back. Almost home. Dock. Light ship. Don't have any recent news uh shoot lights out okay 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 search supplies for something of use yes okay that's the last of our supplies but it's gonna be enough to get us home they're probably gonna want to eat but you know what it's fine they can deal with it Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I don't need your assistance. Thanks, though. And finally, Doc. Okay, yep. Feels good. Here, have something durable. Wonderful. I don't care about spicy or perilous, whatever. Okay, I've got money. And I can, more importantly, finally, not here, here. We can sell. Where the hell's that problem? And there you are. Get it off my ship. Okay, we already have enough to make this. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfection itself. Okay. So. That all could have gone much worse. You know, sell that freaking solace fruit as well. Okay, then. Well. I think we're doing pretty okay. Oh, by the way. We turned in that Fallen London Port report. Got a second piece of blue skint de lac, by the way. So that can be another trip for later. For now, though, I am once again going to collapse at home. This has been a long, long trip, and I kind of want to just forget it for a while, okay? Okay.
As always, thank you for your time. Note the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly. And I shall see you all soon.